guess what song just popped up into my head, y'all? <laughs> right before I push record. Nice like this, I wish the raindrops would fall. Let it rain, let it rain on me, yeah. Nice like this, I wish the raindrops would fall. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but yeah. Nice like this, I wish. The raindrops would fall. Y'all remember that Eddie Kane trying to come back to the group after he messed up? Nice like this. I wish that raindrops would fall. Nice like this. I ain't come here for your pity. He tried to give us some money. I ain't come here for your pity. <laughs> Heavenly Father, lead me to where you need me to be at this time. For I know it's to you that all things are possible. And it's in your name that I pray. Father, I ask that you protect your message and you protect your messenger. You protect those under the sound of my voice and those who the message is to go out to. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over all of us and your ministry and anyone attached to it. I pray that you continue to cover us and anyone under the sound of my voice. For I know it's to you that all things are possible. And it's in your name that I pray. Father, I ask that you... Um, rebuke and cancel any demonic interference or attachments. For I know it's to you that all things are possible and it's in your name that I pray. Amen. While admitting the existence of a divine plan, it considers such a plan to be hidden from man who seeks happiness without ever finding it here below. So what the father is saying is, While admitting there is an exist an existence of a divine plan, saying God has a, div a divine plan for everybody, okay, and admitting that everyone has a divine plan for their life, and it considers such a plan to be hidden from man, which it is hidden from you. Everybody does not know the divine plan for their life. The Father may tell you some, but he does not tell you all, Okay. Who seeks happiness without ever finding it here below? There are people who seek happiness here on earth that will never find it because they are not in agreement or alignment with God's existence, divine plan, existing God divine plan for them in their life. And they're delaying themselves in their in their happiness because they're operating outside of God's will. And in a sense, the turnout being never finding happiness here on earth. Because the Father wants you to give you the divine plan is in heaven. And so as it is on heaven, so shall it be on earth. But if you're not accepting the divine plan that is in existence for your life, then how can he give it to you here on earth? Okay, so in order for you to receive the divine plan that is exist in existence for your life and for you to receive happiness and kingdom and the kingdom here on earth, then you would have to be in acceptance of the unknown the things you can't see, faith, having complete faith and trust in God and what he has told you and what he has showed you. And that's how you find complete happiness here on earth, by coming into an alignment with God existence, existing divine plan that he has for you in your life. Because everyone, God has a plan for everyone, 444, every man and every woman. There is an existing divine plan for every man and every woman here on earth. 
But if you don't accept it, if you don't come into agreement with it, if you don't follow the rules and, and, and be in obedience to Christ and what he's telling you to do, how can you have heaven here on earth? 511 as I say that how can you have what the father has created for you here on earth if you're not in acceptance of it if you're not in compliance of it if you're not walking in the way and in the will of it how can you expect to have happiness here on earth divine happiness anyway something that somebody can't take from you Okay, how can you expect to have your kingdom of heaven on earth if you're not in acceptance of it, if you're not in an alignment with it? Okay, and this plan, your divine plan is hidden from you. You have to seek ye first the kingdom of God and the rest will be added to you. You have to seek God first. You have to seek the kingdom of heaven first so he can tell you his divine plan. He will give you an answer, 611, as I say that. He will give you an answer. He will tell you what the divine plan for your life is. He might not tell you all, but he'll tell you some. But you have to seek ye first the kingdom of God so the rest can be added to you. If you don't seek God and you don't seek the kingdom, if you don't seek Christ, how can he tell you his divine plan for your life? He can't. There's no communication. There's no friendship. There's no trust. There's no confidence. There's no faith. How can you have what's from heaven on earth if you have no faith, if you have no relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? How can he reveal to you his divine plan if you're not seeking his word, if you're not seeking the kingdom of heaven? How can he reveal how he is speaking to you, how he's going to talk to you, what it is he wants you to do? Where it is he wants you to go if you don't have a relationship with him? How are you going to receive your happiness here on earth? Because the things that you do for yourself, the things that you accomplish for yourself are tangible things. They can be taken away. But the things that the Father has written down for you in heaven... Those things can't be taken from you. They got your name on it. Nobody can take it from you. But how do you know what those things are? How do you go about getting those things if you don't have a relationship with the Father, if you don't have a relationship with your Savior, if you don't have a relationship with the Holy Spirit so they can reveal the plan to you? Okay, so that is just coming from the introduction, a sentence from the introduction of the book of Ecclesiastes. Okay. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and the rest will be added to you. Peace.